Hey everybody, welcome to my What's On My Apple Watch video. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the great third-party apps I use and find interesting for Apple Watch. I'll leave links to all the apps pages on the App Store in the description below. Let's get to it! The first app I'm going to talk about is called Activity Tracker. At first glance, this app is somewhat duplicating the reporting of Apple's own Activity app. However, after using it for a while, you can see that this app gives you a more spread out user interface, where you can get a breakdown of your metrics in full screen reports per category when you review your information on your iPhone. It's a nice layout and worth checking out. The second is a free app called Battery HD Plus. It's primarily an iPhone app that gives you great information on your iPhone's current battery status and provides you with some pretty good estimates about how long your battery charge will last while using various features like talking on the phone, Wi-Fi use, or even using the LED flashlight. The accompanying watch app gives you similar information. It tells you how long your current charge should last with your current consumption and also estimates battery lifetime for various common tasks like talk time, music playback, and working out. It's free in the App Store and worth checking out as it provides you with some really interesting information. The next app I'm going to talk about for the Apple Watch is Shazam. This app gets a lot of use from me. I used to really love Shazam on my iPhone, but I found the Apple Watch version to be even better due to the sheer convenience. I use it often at the gym, nightclubs, even at parties. I find it works just as well as the iPhone version, but with greater convenience. And now that the mic on the Series 4 is on the outside, I found it works even faster. It's free in the App Store, plus it also syncs what it finds with the iPhone app to make researching what you found easier. Next I'm going to talk about two apps in the same section as they are quite similar. I like them both and find myself switching back and forth between them. They're both calculator apps. The first is called Dial Calc. It has a really cool interface and lets you do simple math by just dialing your finger around the screen. When you first use it for the first time, you'll need to adjust your settings so it moves at the right speed for you. As I found going from a Series 1 to a Series 4 Apple Watch had different settings for it to work the way I like but it's a cool idea and fun to use. There's also another app that's very similar called Plus Clock Dial Calc, with the difference being that you use a digital crown instead of dialing with your finger around the screen. It has more personalization options, but doesn't allow you to scroll around the circle continuously. I really enjoy interface ideas from both. I like how you can clear the calculations by tapping the results in Plus Clock Dial Calc, but I really prefer the settings in the original Dial Calc, as I find using the digital crown too sensitive in Plus Clock Dial Calc for it to be my go-to all the time. I think it would be cool if Dial Calc let you dial on the screen or use a digital crown and make the results area stand out a bit more. Like I said, I think they're both awesome, but could be improved if they each took the best ideas from the other to improve. The next app I'm going to talk about is the Starbucks app. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you'll know how much I love my Frappuccinos. The Watch app is somewhat limited, but lets you get the basics done. It lets you pay with your Starbucks card in store, check your Starbucks card balance, and add money to your Starbucks card using Apple Pay. It can be really handy when you're waiting in line to make your order in person. And lastly, I'm going to talk about a Canadian app I use often on my Apple Watch, the Weather Network app. I find it provides more accurate weather information in Canada in comparison to the built-in weather app for Apple Watch. I keep it in my Apple Watch's dock and refer to it often. It provides the temperature with the wind chill or humidex depending on the time of year, which really makes a big difference in Canada. Plus it shows the current weather conditions. This is a companion app for the Weather Network iPhone app and works really well. Outside of Canada, I have no idea if it's accurate, but if you're in Canada, definitely give it a try. Well everybody, those are the third party apps I use the most or find most interesting for Apple Watch right now. Do you use any of these apps? Are there any you think I should try? Please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.